right, so we're going to go into how I pack. And what I'm going to start with is a dry clothes bag. This is a Dyneema waterproof. Spare, uh, spare pair of shorts, in case I look what I have. Socks for night or for hiking out. Uh, spare pair of underwear, if I need them. A t-shirt, the merino wool. So that's kind of like a second hiking layer. And then a puffy, this is a Patagonia medium no hood. That'll keep me warm around camp as well as if I get extra cold. Now I've looked at the forecast and I'll double check, but as far as I know, the forecast says no rain. I'm going to get rid of here in the air out, fold this up. That's good enough, doesn't have to be too tight. Now I have my pack here. This is a uh, Zedpax Arc Hall. And what I have on it so far, at the bottom here I have a sit pad and I have a seat. And in the back here I have some TP. I gotta refill the TP, there's not enough. And I have steaks. I'm also gonna bring my trowel, just in case. So we'll put that in there like that. Put that in there like that. Okay, so I've got bear spray already in this pocket with a carabiner, so if it comes out, I won't lose it. This side I have my tent sticks. Let me just pull this. A lot of people call it a trash compact bag. It's just a trash bag. Normal black trash bag. And then I start with my sleep. System. Ooh, what else have I got in here? Ooh, I threw my cook system in that thing too. Uh, anyway, I have my sleeping bag in here. I also have my uh, air mattress, which is an Uberlite. I have an inflatable pillow. And I have my synthetic boxer shorts that I sleep in, along with a merino wool top that I sleep in. So all of these are in there. And the way I pack is that in the morning I'll throw this in here. Like this. If you're familiar with the arc hall, there's a arc you put in it. And I have it unarched, so which makes it easier to put stuff in. So now I I just slips in nice and easy. enough room so I'm gonna put my cook set in now I guess it's heavy so it can go in the bottom we'll put it out here where the pegs are and then I put in my clothes bag and then one more thing is this, which is a merino hooded top. I wear this at camp, sometimes wear it to bed. And it just kind of tucks in all around. And then I fold the trash compact the bag over because I don't care about the next layers. Next layers are tent layers. So here's my ground sheet, which often goes in the back here if it's wet, but it's not right now, so toss that in. This is the 
fly in the Dyneema bag. And uh, if it's wet, it'll go on the outside as well, but it's not right now, so I'm going to go with that. This is my tent. It always goes in this dry bag. This is a kitty bag. It just fits in nice. This is a first aid bag. Fits in fine. This is a spare two liter water in case I need it. Uh, these, oh, and I will need this guy. This is a spare uh, canister because I'm going for five days, so we'll just tuck that in. These are rain pants, which I've never worn. Uh, they're more for around camp, but they're nice and small. They slide in. And this is a rain jacket. If I think it's going to rain or it's cold, I'll put that in the outside, but I don't think it will, so it goes in. And then on top of that, it's time for food. But before I do this, normally once I've got all my dry stuff in, as I want to tension this, the way I do that is just bends like that, and there's a strap here you pull on, and I want it that wide, so I just go ahead and so, oh, not far enough. Good on that side. And it just touches there. So food bag. Move that to the side. Grab the food bag here. It's missing medications, but we'll fill them in later. like that. And put that goes in top. I'm just gonna rearrange some stuff here so the food bag fits a little bit better. Bag. bag on the other side. So you know sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling to get things to fit the way you want. There, the last thing I have to fit in is okay, I forgot my medical kit. Finally, I pack it down a little further. But this is a ditty bag with electronics. So we we'll pack that in. And that gives us everything there that I need. So we'll, just for our test purposes here, I'll do it up this way. camera because it's over there. Uh, my diamond in reach normally goes on my right shoulder. So we'll throw it through here. The sandals that I'm going to take I'm going to wear there so they're not in. I'll get them. Now I have two sets of sandals. I have these guys, the Tevas, and these which are the Zeros. These are much more comfortable. They weigh probably twice as much, so we're going to put them in and see what they're like. It's part of what this is all about, to see what the weight is like today. And I'll stuff those in better when I actually do this. Okay, that's got, I think 
other than water. Now, for water, I carry a 710 in here. And a 500 in here. got my bee free filter which will either go in the back or in this pocket I'm not sure yet and if I take all of that and hoist it that comes out too Nine point eight pounds. Now I'm going to add camera gear. To see what that adds. So when you look at that now. Thirty one point three pounds. Yeah, I wanted to be sub 30, but I'm not quite there. Okay. So that's what the pack looks like from my side. From the side of the bear spray and you see I've got room to make with the water filter in in there to free up space in there we'll see from back and from the side with the water bottle Thirty-one point three pounds with everything. Mm. 